Hello everyone. Um, I was going through some old notebooks of mine and I found this nice little proof esque thing from when I go back when I took Cop 2. Um, I know that's everyone's favorite sequence of the series, all the good stuff. Yeah, everyone hates it. I didn't like it too much. It'll be fun when I had in my reels class when I have to do all that stuff again. Mm -hmm. um, but yeah. Uh, basically, this is a nice little thing. If if you forgot the derivative of uh, you know an arc function, so like arc tangent, arc sine, arc cosecant, whatever, you can derive it yourself. Which I know is it's kind of useless. No one will really ever need it because you need to memorize these things if you're ever going to use them. Believe me, it's nice to just know that crap off the top of your head. But I really like this little type of proof. So. Um, so say we forgot the derivative of our tangent. So we're really not sure, like, oh, I know it's 1 over something, but I don't know. So, uh, let's just start. We're going to say, uh, we're going to solve for some variable x. So we're saying we have x here. Uh, okay, good, you can see that on the camera. We have x here. And, oh, that has to equal, we have to have incorporate our tangent somewhere. So the tangent of the arc tangent of x gives us x, that's legitimate. Where x, you know, you got all real numbers. Um, so yeah, that's just what we need to start with. So you need a different shape to solve this, obviously. So let's go ahead and do the derivative of this whole thing. So take the derivative with respect to x. x by dx is 1. Now this is a good old chain rule. So we have secant squared of the in, with the inside. Use our chain rule, and now oh, derivative of our tangent. Well, hey, that's, we don't know what that is. So, well, we still have to do this. So let's just say d dx our tangent of x. That's legitimate. We just don't know what it is. So um, yeah, we want to solve for that. So let's move this little thing over. So I'm going to go ahead and rewrite this on the other side just because. One over secant squared. And, ah, okay, well that's not readable, but whatever. Hopefully you get the gist of it. Hopefully YouTube won't screw up everything completely. So, now, right here, we're kind of like kind of scratching our heads. Well, what do we do? Well, we're going to use our magic word. I'm pretty sure people, someone has told you this is a nice magic word. We're going to say let some angle phi equal the arc tangent of x. Okay, what the heck are we going to do with that? Well, I'm going to draw a nice little triangle here. Little right triangle. Yeah. Okay, there we go. It's not really the best. Right triangle. And there's our angle phi. So we're gonna have to fill in this triangle. Well, let's go ahead and solve this equation for x. So we have tangent of phi equals x. Okay. Now let's fill in this triangle. Um, so the tangent is remember is opposite over adjacent on a right triangle. Remember your right triangle trig. Um, so opposite over adjacent. Well, it equals x. So tangent of whatever this angle is, it doesn't matter, is equals x, which is opposite over adjacent. So let's pick something nifty. You, you could say x squared and x. So I could do x, but yeah, then we kind of get into stuff like, well, what if x is 0 and things like that, because remember, x is in the domain of all real numbers. Um, so we're just going to say this side is x and this side is 1. So x over 1 is 1. Okay, that's great. That still doesn't seem to get us anywhere. Well, remember, we your right triangle trig in Pythagorean's theorem, x squared plus 1. We simply solve for c, it's just x squared plus 1, because it's x squared plus 1 squared. So knowing that, we now have to get this thing somewhere over in here. So, oh, remember we had this nice little secant up here? Uh, well, what if we say, you know, 
remember that secant is 1 over cosine, which is hypotenuse over adjacent. Well, hey, if they're adjacent, they're the hypotenuse. So, we simply say secant of phi is equal to square root of x squared plus 1. Okay, so now we have to go back and do some more substitution with this. So, I'm going to bring this buddy down here. So now we have d dx. Make sure everyone can see that. Um, arctangent of x is equal to, now we're going to do some substitution. See, we had phi the arctangent of x. So we're going to say 1 over secant of phi. And then now we have this thing here, and we have d dx of r tan x is equal to 1 over squared of x squared plus 1. But, sorry, I messed up here. Sorry, this is secant squared of phi. So this whole thing is squared. And so, therefore, d dx, the derivative of r tangent of x with respect to x is 1 over x squared plus 4. That is your answer. Minus my little snafu of not copying. <laughs> um, I squared up there. So, you can do that with any trig function. Um, I could do it again with arc sine or whatever. Just gotta, basically you just gotta know how to finagle or just, this basically it's this right here. You just gotta do the derivative, finagle a little, solve for it, and then do right triangle trig, and you can get your answer. So, um, I hope that was helpful. I might find some more nifty little proofs that I like. That one was just one of my favorites. It's like, well, it's a very simple, simple, simple way to do something if you forgot it. Which, I mean, that's easy to memorize, but hey, everyone, everyone forgets things, so, um, yeah, hope you, hopefully, hopefully you enjoyed this video, and I will be off.